What's going on guys? Brandon Hyden here. Hope you're having a great day. It is the 28th of October. Today is a Thursday and we have a really, really like pretty much jam-packed day. We're actually about to go pick up Nabil. You probably already know who Nabil is. He made the intro to my shredding series, Hard Body Shredding 2021. He's a videographer that has been in the fitness industry for a very long time and we have him here in the UK for four days to make the intro for hard body bulking season one. I have never ever done a bulking series in my entire life. I've like said that I'm on a bulk on YouTube and it has been like a, like a, a series of sorts in itself, but I've never made an intro for it. I've never made a full video intro for it. Like when I say intro and intro, I mean like the 20 second thing that goes at the beginning of a video and like a whole video that intros a series about why I Want to take this next off season so seriously why i have been and everything i learned from my last prep and that i'll be applying to this next bulking season that we've pretty much already begun we just need an intro for the series and then it all can officially begin Got a bunch of things here prepped for the day. I'm actually using Geordie's camera right now because this is my camera that Nabil is gonna be using. It is the Canon R5 with a bunch of different lenses because Nabil, he just knows what he's doing with these things. We've got three fully charged drone batteries because we actually got my drone repaired in the Netherlands. It's the Mavic Pro 2 that comes with this remote. They actually replaced the screen on this too, which is great. But the drone was sent separately and it's at my dad's, which is something else that's happening today because the plan for the day is we're gonna pick Nabil up right now, drive up to King's Gym, hit a workout for the day. I'm training back. And then after going to King's, we're to drive two hours up to Birmingham, see my family. I haven't actually seen them in like two or three weeks, probably, I think two weeks. So it's gonna be really good to see my dad, my nan, and my brother. We're going up there as well to interview them for the first episode, and we get to hang out and see each other again for the day. And of course, pick up the drone that has been repaired. It was actually sent off like two months ago, and it's finally back. Yesterday, we picked up a special little something for the bulking series, which is a brand new notepad to log all of my weights for the off season. Hopefully, there's gonna be many weight increase increments in this in the future, but we got a brand new one. And on the topic of new things, we picked up a new scale because the last one actually dropped and smashed on the ground when I was trying to take a thumbnail. So I can actually wear myself for the past two, three weeks, but we have another one to log it every week. We've got some meals already prepped. We've got a post-workout meal. Breakfast is also in a Tupperware too. We've got two bagels and some eggs. I'm gonna eat this on the way driving to the gym, have the post-workout meal, and then have my third and fourth meal probably at my dad's and then come home and have the rest for the day. All we gotta do now is put the shoes on, pack the bag full of all the stuff that me and Nabil need, put this jump around because it's absolutely freezing outside and then set off to King's Gym London for a back workout. <laughs> I don't know. Separation anxiety kicks in. It might be kind of nice to get some peace. Me and Nabil have been filming for the past like day. This is actually the second day. And we're also gonna be filming tomorrow as well. So it's been a pretty hectic like day already. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> hey bro. Hey mate. Yeah, I'm leaving right now. Extra battery, car keys and we're done. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Fantastic. All right, guys, so we just got to King's Gym, pulled up, had a pre-workout meal. I was gonna eat the meal on the way. Honestly, just like driving and stuff, it was like actually quite impossible to like get the spoon. So I just necked it just before the gym. And now we're gonna deadlift, because today's back day, and I'm hoping that I don't just projectile this beautiful bagel egg situation onto the gym floor. About a week ago, I didn't record it, so obviously it doesn't count. I actually hit a new PR on deadlift. In the past video, I hit six plates for two reps. When at Phoenix, I hit it for three reps. I'm not gonna try four reps today, but I'm working up to a PR of four reps on six plates. And when we get it, I'm gonna try a single on seven plates, which is the holy 300 kilograms. I have been sipping on this monster on the way for a bit of caffeine before the workout, because I don't really wanna have pre-workout. I've been having it a lot lately, so I'm just using this for the pre for the day. Heavy there. Yeah, it's got all your shit in it. Oh, thanks. <laughs> all my shit. Oh, what's that? I'm just gonna see where my car is real quick. Thanks to my Apple Air Tag. Because <laughs> you don't want to lose your car. Hey, bro. How many weeks out do you think he is? He... <laughs> 
<laughs> this guy is minus 42 weeks out. Fucking shredded, bro. We don't really have any direction for recording this workout. I'm basically gonna go through what would be like my average workout. And the bill is gonna get some clips like here and there as I just go for a regular session, like obviously starting with deadlifts and then doing the rest of the bodybuilding style workout. They actually have a deadlift bar at this gym as well. That's why I like deadlifting at Kings. <laughs> Deadlifts are done for some reason. Six plates felt unusually heavier than usual. No idea why it could be due to sleep, it could be due to food. But nevertheless, we got six plates, really happy with that. Now we get on with the rest of the workout. Do we have the shot? We have the shot. Get some filter shots. Disgusting shots. with the session. Honestly, it felt a little bit rushed because we do have to get up and drive all the way to Birmingham, which is still a two hour drive away. So I'm actually contemplating on going back to Phoenix tonight when we drive from Birmingham all the way down, back down to Brighton. It's open quite late, so I might hit a heavier session because although deadlifts was quite heavy, I wish I went a little bit heavier on everything else. There's no time on this off season to just like, you know, slack off on any workouts. If I left the gym and I wasn't like 100% satisfied, I need to go back, obviously eat some food, refresh and go again. There is absolutely no time to wait every workout is extremely important and although this one wasn't the best we're gonna head back and finish it off tonight and just a few hours later we have now arrived in redditch at my dad's place of course nutrition has been absolutely on point today with both me and nabil nabil i don't know what he just ate it was remnants of cat food and like the squid game meal the aftermath what? it was um a french style tuna salad but it was actual cat food it was really good <laughs> dad isn't home yet we're here to pick up the drone gonna film the car sequence and then wait for dad to get home to see him and film all that stuff as well. One thing I'm really excited about is that I haven't seen George for quite a long time. If you don't know who George is, where have you been? George is the family dog. Wish he could live with us in Brighton, but the place is quite small and Geordie just wouldn't have it. Hey! hey. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Just got back from taking George for a walk until it started to absolutely tip it down. Like the rain right now is it's just terrible like it's a cheat i got so lucky to get in when i did because i'm looking outside right now and it is showering really really heavy it's getting to the point now the weather in the uk edging closer to winter it's rainy season like after september closer to november only rain what i wanted to do to actually end this video off because all the filming is going really really well the only downside is the drone isn't actually fixed because i got the drone back from amsterdam turned it on brand new parts really excited flew it up gimbal is like shaking like that even worse than it was before so i basically spent 350 pound for them to send me the same thing back but it's still broken it's essentially like dj i've like stolen money from me for just like no reason so i'm gonna get back to customer service and email them other than that things are going really well but what i wanted to end this video with is to talk about something that is the consensus behind the whole bulking series and that is competing because i now know what show I'm gonna be doing next year. I haven't announced it yet, but I thought now would be a good time before the series starts so you guys know what goal we are fighting for and when it's gonna happen. The show we have decided to pick is, it might have been an obvious guess because it's actually a show that myself, Geordie, Lewis and Sav, the people that live next door, actually went to together. It is the Arnold Classic. The UK hosted the very first Arnold Classic in the whole of England at the NEC, which is really close to my home. The, uh, the NEC is where they used to hold the Body Power Expo. I competed at Body Power twice. First time was my first show. I lose 
count how many times I competed now. Anyway, <laughs> I competed the first time when I was 19 years old and my second last show before the most recent run three months ago being London and Ukraine was at the NEC at Body Power. Body Power, I'm not too sure if it's going to be a thing at the NEC anymore, but now the Arnold Classic is going to be held there. So me and Lewis both thought, because it's not just me doing that show, Lewis next door is going to be competing in men's physique. We're not doing classic, we're not going to be rivals. He's, <laughs> he's essentially doing um, the men's physique category because he's also coached by Callum but I will be competing in the next Arnold Classic UK. If you win the Arnold Classic in the Classic class you get a pro card. So it is a pro qualifier which is one of the main things obviously there's no point in me competing in regional qualifiers anymore because I have regionally qualified and I'm pretty sure you don't have to regionally qualify again for the Arnold Classic because I know that a lot of the competitors that compete in that show hadn't regionally qualified they just went and did the show and they was you know able to get a shot at a pro card. The other show that I'm going to be doing is an amateur Olympia around that date. The date that this is going to be is at some point in October. The Arnold Classic should be held again in the UK around the same time that the Expo was this year being October. So the game plan is going to be we're going to take the off season now which is the whole bulking series what will be a four to five months blasting phase which will be all documented as part of the bulking series and that is going to be the growing phase of this season we'll then take two to three months off allow the body to heal get blood work results back hopefully everything is good and then in june next year in literally just eight months time like it's coming so so fast in eight months we will start prep again i actually speaking about competing like gets me really excited because like i love prep although like the end of prep is so like hard and painful and you look like you're not enjoying it like to the outside world it looks like you're in pain but after you realize how much enjoyment you were getting from those hard days even though it's masked by the pain of what you're feeling, but absolutely love competing. And the goal, the main goal that we set out to compete this year was to get a pro card, didn't happen. But honestly, like the more years I go to the gym, the more shows I do, it becomes more clear to me what I wanna do and how bad I want a pro card. And that's why I'm taking this off season so seriously. That's why I wanted to make like a series intro because I want like, making a series about a journey i don't know what it is it's like youtube is like bred into my blood i don't know what it is but like i'm able on a shredding series like on my dieting phase to take it a lot more seriously because i'm holding myself accountable because obviously at the end of it i want there to be a big transformation and i want to have documentation of that and if the transformation isn't massive i know that i kind of like let myself down by not you know doing the best i could do it's going to be the same for this bulking series. I'm essentially making this to hold myself accountable because if I'm gonna tell you guys, hey, I'm gonna get absolutely massive, we're gonna be 260 pound, <laughs> a, a mammoth of a man, and it doesn't happen, and I didn't record it, I didn't like document the thing, it doesn't really matter if it didn't happen because I didn't document it, I just went against what I said I was gonna do, which isn't the kind of person I wanna be, and that is not how we're gonna be treating this off season. So those are the shows, that's the plan, and I'm excited to take you on for the ride. Cool. I can't wait for this ride. That's going to be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, do me a favor, and turn on post notifications because one, helps the channel grow, and two, you'll never miss a future video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.